So if we now move more outside of the core, so we've been studying this area here and these bits of memories here. So if we now look at a proper application, you can potentially pull instructions through the art accelerator into the core. You can be accessing interrupt vectors or other parts of the software which are stored in the ITCM, also through the same bus into the core. So that's all different address ranges that go on there. You can be pulling at the same time data or instructions through the external memory bus and the cache into the core. So again, depending on what your code is doing and if it's requiring the use of external memories because you've exceeded your one meg of device memory or you're playing around with graphic images that are stored externally. You can then be writing data or variables out to the DTCM at exactly the same time. And you can also write out through the cache to other parts of the SRAM that are on the system bus here so that the DMA can then access that information and send it out to one of the peripherals. So all of that can be happening at exactly the same time in the device. And it will all be down to where you've allocated all these memory blocks and how you've configured them all at the start of your application or on the fly, depending on what you're doing in the application. There goes memory blocks. So say by default, all of these are internal to the device. These ones, as you saw from the main allocation table, were all configured as not executable by default because we don't know what you've got connected. So we don't want your program counter going off to an area of memory that potentially you've not got anything attached to. So we don't want to generate errors in the system. So we make sure that code is not executable by default from those areas to protect the system in case you fail or miss that configuration part. But there is a safety mechanism. So hopefully you can see with the system bandwidth now that you've got everything in there to make your application a lot closer to DSPs and a lot closer to real-time processors within the system.